Hi. My name is Greg Gosswaller, and I work in the lab of Professor Stephen Craig at Duke University. In the Craig lab, we're always looking for new ways to put chemistry to work for us. And in my research, I'm looking for a way to take advantage of the forces already in polymer materials as a way to control chemistry and to create better materials. To show you what I mean, take the example of a rubber band. A rubber band is made up of long polymer chains that are held together by crosslinks. And when you stretch this rubber band, you're really stretching the individual polymer chains. If you pull the rubber band even harder, you might break one of these chains and maybe even the rubber band. This is an example of mechanochemistry. What we're hoping to do is create constructive chemical changes from this process rather than destructive. Constructive chemical changes in, in, the, in the bulk has happened before, such as bond formation and release of small molecules, but only at the cost of the material. It was irreversibly deformed. Ideally, you would want the material to maintain its original form and function even after the deformation, and this was seen as a major hurdle. To tackle this problem, we chose a tough silicone elastomer as a way to achieve reversible activation. To demonstrate this, we took a stress probe, spiropyrin, that is in its closed colorless form, can be stretched to reveal an elongated and colored form to reveal the location of molecular tension. The material is able to reversibly and repeatably activate this molecule with complete shape recovery. Reversible and repeatable coupling allows translation into already active and functional devices without compromising their intended function. To show you what I mean, look at the three-armed robot as it's able to grip and pick up a bottle and change color in response to the deformation. This is essentially a process of force management and that the forces that are stored in the network are channeled to network-bound chemistry for added function. Fluorescence analysis reveals hot spots that show you where the material or the, the robot is likely to fail. You could also imagine this being a great place to put stress remodeling uh, or stress strengthening chemistry within the robot. In another example, we wanted to take advantage or mimic an incredible design of the octopus and the squid that are able to change the surface texture and color of their skin at will. To mimic this, we created a dielectric elastomer that changes the texture of its surface in response to an electric field. Additionally, it can change the color of its surface where the stresses are high enough, it activating our chemistry, and in this example, showing glowing rings. Removal of the force, or the stress, allows the surface to rebound to a flat state uh, and also turn off the chemistry. In the future, we anticipate the development of new chemistry that, like our materials, is reversibly and repeatedly activated, expanding the functionality of soft devices and achieving control over chemistry that is otherwise impossible. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed hearing about our research. If you'd like more information about Duke's Department of Chemistry or the Craig Lab, I encourage you to check out the link shown. Thank you so much.